And today I wanted to detail some alternative ways to generate the critical coenzyme nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD, which is so essential for slowing the aging process and maintaining optimal metabolic homeostasis overall. Most of you know that my favorite way of generating and maintaining optimal NAD is through regularly taking original flush niacin, also known as nicotinic acid, which replenishes NAD directly. But today, we're going to venture beyond the burn, and I'm going to show you how to generate NAD in ways that don't even involve niacin. NAD is the primary fuel source for a family of metabolic proteins called sirtuins that constantly repair DNA, mitochondria, and telomeres. And this, as you likely know, is exactly why regular and optimal NAD production is so critical as we age. Fasting and or caloric restriction of any kind is an effective activator for sirtuins, particularly sirtuin-1, which itself is critical for maintaining insulin sensitivity and the overall effects of caloric restriction while also supporting the conversion of our stubborn, unsightly, long-term storage fat, known as white fat, into the far more metabolically active brown fat. And maintaining healthy levels of brown fat production through caloric restriction and also regular exercise is especially critical during the metabolic slowdown and white fat accumulation that is, unfortunately, a defining characteristic of middle age. Activated monophosphate protein kinase, or AMPK, the metabolism-boosting master switch enzyme, is obviously a large part of this equation, and sirtuin-1 activates AMPK. One metabolic enzyme directly involved in NAD synthesis is something called nicotinamide phosphoribosyl transferase, abbreviated as NAMPT. And here is where you can see NAD production independent of niacin because AMPK, when regularly and consistently activated, also activates the NAD-producing enzyme NAMPT. While regular exercise and caloric restriction are the best AMPK activators, you can also engage the master switch with the bioflavonoids quercetin and rutin, which themselves are both powerful activators of sirtuin-1, and then by extension AMPK, and finally NAMPT, leading ultimately to an increase in NAD, all without ever taking niacin. Similarly, the golden yellow alkaloid berberine also activates this same metabolic cascade from sirtuin-1 to NAD, just like quercetin does. And as if that isn't enough incentive to take berberine and quercetin at the same time, one more reason is that quercetin dramatically enhances berberine absorption, specifically because quercetin inhibits the body's permeability glycoprotein, which can otherwise impair the intestinal absorption of berberine. You can also support NAD production with the amino acids leucine, which is famously one of the three branch-chain amino acids that are so critical for muscle maintenance, and also tryptophan. Leucine increases the activity of both sirtuin-1 and NAMPT, and dietary tryptophan is a well-known endogenous precursor for NAD, but this also requires the B vitamins pyridoxine, or B6, and riboflavin, or B2. So definitely remember to take a daily B-complex, and ideally a coenzymated B-complex, which gives you the active forms of all your B vitamins. I still say that original flushing niacin is the best and easiest way to maintain optimal NAD, but nonetheless, I hope this shows you some alternative ways of doing this, particularly if you're sensitive to niacin and or you just don't like the niacin flush. If you are able to take niacin, you could definitely pair supplemental niacin with all the things I just detailed because niacin definitely complements their numerous metabolic benefits. Thanks for watching. I'm Jason Carter, and I'll see you next time on Enzymental. Stay healthy.